Okay, hello guys, welcome to the Dev Ministers YouTube channel. I'm Abuba Kazakari, and in today's video, I'm going to be putting you through uh, like this an introduction for the new series that I'm creating on CK Editor on Django. So, in this series, I'm going to be showing you how you'll be able to use the CK Editor as a text editor on your Django or in your Django project. So it's going to be made up of um, six videos. So the first video, I'm going to show you how you can download and set up CK editor. So within this, I'm going to show you how you download the CK editor package, how you will set up CK editor for admin dashboard, and then also how you will set up the CK editor for your content HTML pages. So what this aspect deals with is, um, let's say for example, you want your comment section in your web pages to have like a text editor instead of it should just be a normal plain text field you want it to have a text editor in it so in this video i'm going to show you how it can be done and then in the second video i'm going to show you how you can customize the ck editor toolbar because there are situations whereby you won't want your user to get access to all of the tools in the toolbar like maybe you want to restrict it to only specific uh, tools that the user will be able to access then in the third video i'm going to show you how you're able to fix this error which is export pdf no token url error i'm going to show you in this video how you can fix it so that that error will no longer be shown in the browser console and in the fourth video i'm going to teach, show you uh the code snippets plugin how you can enable it for your uh, CK editor project. So what this code snippets plugin is for is um, it allows you to add code as a programming language code. It allows you to add it to your through your text editor to your web page, and then it will be highlighted based on the particular programming language that you are using. So I'll show you how you can enable it for the CK editor, and then I'll also show you how you can customize the Steam. So the background team, there are a wide variety of colors that are available for CK Editor. So I'll show you how you can access all of them and enable them for your uh, for your text editor for the jungle, for the CK Editor. Okay, and then in this um, in the feed video, I'm going to show you how you can download and set up HTML5 video plugin for the CK Editor. So what this HTML5 video plugin does is that it enables you to be able to upload uh, videos to your text editor to your page to your front end page so this will allow you to be able to add videos upload them and they will show up on your front end page and then in the sixth video i'm going to show you how you'll be able to use cloudina which is a third party uh, storage provider you going to use it for storing the static files that you uh, upload through your ck editor static files this means the videos and the images so instead of them to be stored locally they will now be stored in cloudinel so uh let me open this this is the end result that we are going to be getting as you can see this is the front end of my website and you can see this is the admin dashboard that django creates for me you can see if i try to add a new blog you see the text editor this is the ck editor when you add it, let's say name um, CK editor body awesome text editor. Okay, so let's add this. See, it was added successfully. Okay, now this is done uh, through the admin dashboard. Let me do it now through the front end. So um ck editor 2 really awesome text editor uh, so let me uh, let me do something instead of just adding text let me add an image as well so this has like a an uploading field so you'll be able to upload images for example Okay, and select this image, send it to the server. Uh, 
you know how uh, images need to have an alternative text so let's just give this like um see editor image okay, let's reduce this size because it's going to be too big uh, something like this is okay press okay you can see that the image is here right uh the two bars automatically of the two bars as you can see this is for bold uh, all of this will be explained uh, in the videos so let me save this now see the page has been refreshed the content has been reset you go to your backend dashboard and you refresh it you see this is the one that we just created from the front end page click on it you can see the image is there text is there so um that's all for now but uh, just uh please try and like this video and subscribe to my channel it will go a long way in helping a channel like mine to grow and um, i'll see you guys in the very next video have a nice day